It seems to me the idea with this synth is to give as many possibilities of shaping the sound as possible. So, having looked at the screen, which is really nicely set out, easy to understand, touch sensitive, um, you can get around pretty quickly and see that there's a lot of possibilities uh, for sound shaping. The setup is such that you have two oscillators which can be both analog or PCM sounds, or one analog, one PCM sound. Also, uh, the vary phrase allows you to import sounds into the synth and to modulate and synthesize those sounds, and that then becomes part of your overall sound. The, the D-beam and the pad here will actually affect everything that is imported into the synth, along with the oscillators. The way the controls are, are laid out, um, it gives a very kind of instinctive feel to it. Um, very similar to working with analog synths, um, the actual oscillators, the waveforms that you use are the most important thing because um, that is the basis of your sound. You can go from very, very thick, full, kind of filtered sounds down to a, a sine wave uh, within a matter of seconds. And it's all how you go about programming, and this is very kind of programmer friendly, um, but it's also in depth enough that you can really get into subtleties and you can be as complicated as you want with a sound or a simple. This kind of looks like half sort of, um, I don't know, half 1970s science lab and half kind of retro futurist kind of look. <laughs> well, I think, you know, it's, it's kind of been proved that um, people want some kind of uh, hands-on approach when they play. I mean, it is, after all, a, a physical kind of pleasure when you're playing an instrument, so um, it can get very um, disheartening when you're just going through pages and pages of, of numbers. I think there's enough to keep um, people who don't know about synthesizers interested in it, definitely. Um, but. Um, it looks to be quite complex as well, which I think is what, you know, a lot of professionals want to get involved in, really. I need, I need something like this, you know, because I need to have lots of sounds uh, on stage, especially. Um, and I need something that's reliable. I mean, I, I do take analog synths, synths on stage with me and, um, you know, they're breaking down halfway through a tour and all kinds of problems. It would look good on stage, let's put it that way. I do like it a lot. I'm not just saying that. <laughs>